What is going on YouTube? Welcome back for another video. Uh, today, I'm actually not going to be doing anything. I'm not working on anything in particular. I'm actually going to show you guys the new build that y'all can see from the thumbnail. Um, for the past month or so, I've been out. I've had a recent surgery, uh, tore my ACL, so I've been down waiting on that to kind of heal up. Uh, but this new vehicle, guys, it's, uh, it's more of my dream build. This is what I've always wanted. Always wanted these since I was a young kid. Um, you know, everybody in high school always had one, and I was like, man, like, where do you get one of them things from? And they're like, oh, you know, it's not mine, it's my parents or something. It's like, oh, okay. And it's like, well, you know, I finally was able to financially afford one of these, and I'm super happy about it. Super great platform. This is what, like I said, what I've always wanted. Uh, the Ford guys still, you know, waiting on parts to show up for that. I know someone commented down below uh, talking about like some of the, the shackles, the blocks in the rear and everything like that, talking about how the suspension was sagging. And honestly, I didn't notice it at first. Didn't even cross my mind. But after uh, that, the viewer, uh, one of you guys actually, uh, so thank you very much for uh, showing me, telling me about, you know, some of the things that I overlooked at the time. But yeah, moving on guys, the truck is, it, it is a truck, yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, I don't really know what to say about it. It's, it was bone stock. Um, it's got quite a few miles on it, but I, I checked it out. Um, so the story behind it is, you know, I've been searching the marketplace for a long time for this platform, what I was looking for. Uh, my wife was looking with me cause she got tired of me actually scrolling through the marketplace, scrolling through Craigslist, you know, everything. And it finally came down to, she was sending me links and I was like, oh, you know, that one's nice, but you know, that one's too expensive or it was out of the price range or it just wasn't in the best shape or something like that. So after scrolling and looking, it got to the point where like, I was just looking at these trucks and it was, it was nothing. It was like, it wasn't even, even the good deals I was kind of like overlooking, I guess you could say, cause it wasn't, none of them were appealing to me anymore. It just was like second nature, I guess, just kind of looking at them so much. And then, so I looked at this one, uh, actually the truck that's sitting here now, uh, she, so I, I found it on the marketplace. It was up at a dealership. Um, not far from where I live. I looked at it, scrolled through the pictures, seen the mileage and, you know, just kind of, like I said, just kind of threw it to the side. And then my wife actually sent me the link on Facebook Messenger and I was like, oh yeah, I've already seen it. And I actually clicked on it again and I looked through it again and I was, I was asking her, you know, like, oh, like, where's it at? You know, I thought it was a private seller or something like that because I was kind of just trying to get out of my other truck, the, uh, the Ram that I had. And whenever she brought me that link and I looked through it again, I was like, okay, I was like, who's got it? And she said, oh, dealership's got it. And I was like, okay, cool. I was like, schedule an appointment to go look at it. So she actually scheduled us to go look that night. I get off work like five o'clock. I get to the house at 5.30, I get there at six. So immediately I get underneath the vehicle. I start checking everything out, you know, bushings, uh, drive shaft, front end, transmission. I'm looking for leaks, all that stuff, guys, everything underneath. That's where I go first. I go underneath the vehicle. And then I go up to the top, uh, pop the hood, start inspecting fluids. You know, I go through the process pretty, it's pretty lengthy for myself, but for a used vehicle, I didn't want to, especially financing, I didn't want to get into something where I was going to screw myself over in the long run. But ultimately, I feel like I came out on top. Like I said, I'm happy. This is a dream build. I actually got more money out of my last truck than what they, yeah, than what I actually had left on it. So, I mean, I was... I couldn't complain about that truck. I got my use out of it. It just wasn't, it just wasn't enough, I guess. I don't know. So I'm pretty excited about this. Like I've said, 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start building this one on the channel as well, just to bring some more content. And if you guys are still watching for the Ford, um, kind of gonna break the ice a little bit and say that we may or may not be keeping the Ford, the 77 F-150, just because we have so many vehicles now. So I have, and this is not this is not a flex or anything like that. It's just. I have too much and I need to get rid of some stuff. I, it's just too much for myself and my wife. It's a lot of the time, I mean the truck, the Ford just sits, I got two motorcycles that sit over here behind me. We purchased a car from my wife within the past, well since the last video that I made. And then there's actually another vehicle sitting in my driveway right now, but it's not mine. I had a, uh, someone that I work with, she wanted me to do some work on her car. So I told her, I was like, yeah, I'll do your work, whatever. And I'm, that's kind of what I want to start doing on this channel, guys. I'm thinking I'm gonna start doing more, not how-to videos, but just kind of, I don't know, just, just mechanics type stuff. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of hard to determine what I want to do because Yes, I love the Ford, but I want to broaden my content. And I think that the Ford was a good start and I want to continue on it. But like I said, between two bikes, two trucks and a car and my piece of junk lawnmower, <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of hard to just keep up on everything. I spent a lot of time in the garage just because I'm trying to wrench and fix every single thing that's here on top of me rebuilding a Ford. And I love the Ford and it's my wife's truck and she loves the Ford and her and I both agree on building it. And we've talked a lot about like, how much is it gonna cost? How long is it gonna take? and a lot of different things like that and it's just kind of uh one of those things that i think i bit off more than i could chew with this truck and it, not that it's it's not hurting anything it don't drink water it don't drink or eat anything so you know it's just sitting here and i kind of feel bad because it's just sitting here and i'm like kind of to the point that Maybe we should get rid of it, but at the same time, I already I know for a fact this truck being what it is, it's kind of rare. Not saying that they're not out there, but they're more they're becoming more and more rare. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use these trucks, these Fords for uh, mud trucks a lot of the time. So that's I think that's where a lot of them are actually going is like into mud trucks and then people cannibalizing one to build another, which is, you know, fine, I guess, if, you know, you're building a solid truck again. But I don't know. I think that the Ford, I don't know. It's really up to my wife. I, I don't pressure her to sell it. I don't pressure her to keep it. It is her truck. I like working on it. I know that you guys like watching it and it's because, you know, it's what the channel started on. And I haven't even been doing YouTube that long and I'm already talking about getting rid of it. <laughs> and I've had the truck for, well, we've had the truck for like a year at this point. So I don't know. It needs a lot of work. It, it takes a lot of money. <laughs> Not saying I can't afford it it's just like i said i will say this i can't afford it with everything else i have so something's got to give and it seems the most practical in my mind but like i said her truck i'm not telling her to get it get rid of it i'm not telling her to keep it great truck i like it i want to keep building it I actually am waiting on parts right now for that truck, the Ford. Uh, I have a, uh, the rest of the exhaust system is actually supposed to be here this coming month, so September. And then I'll get it back in here, slap the exhaust on. And I really wanna dig into this interior 
Uh, I know some of y'all are excited about the engine and everything, and I am too, but my first concern is, you know, suspension. Well, the brakes, suspension, bushings, things like that, and then kind of getting in, in, into some of the interior, because a new motor is, like, we can put a new motor in this truck. I know it may not be a 400, uh, a 400 Ford or whatever, but that's not a big deal. But yeah, I've been down for about a month now for a surgery on my knee. Redid my ACL. Pretty cool, I guess. Um, so if y'all see me limping, <laughs> I will be limping. It'll definitely be a thing. But I'm gonna show y'all this truck. This build. What I wanted for the whole time. Finally got one. There it is guys, the official reveal. This is a 2016 Ram 2500 with the Cummins 6.7 turbo diesel. It is paired up with the 68 RFE transmission, automatic transmission. Um, it is four wheel drive. This is a SLT, SLT, I would say like a premium package. So it wasn't like the lowest SLT, but it's definitely got some uh, nice touches to it. This truck has, uh, as of right now, it has 179,000 miles. Uh, I got this truck probably about 10,000 miles ago. Uh, I've been driving the wheels off this thing, actually. Um, truck bone stock. I mean, bone stock whenever I picked it up. And the only thing I've done to this truck since is I put new headlights in. So I swapped headlights to LEDs and I did an EGR delete and I have an Easy Link tuner hooked up, but it, I'm not tuned. So I'm still throwing uh, check engine lights, which you guys can see in here. Uh, check engine light in there. How many miles? 179,519. But all in all, I am thrilled with this truck. I actually even like the interior. So uh, a lot of y'all know if, you know, you're a subscriber already and you've been watching the Ford builds uh, my first video I talked about the other Ram I had I had a Ram 1500 and that truck it was a good truck and it just didn't hold up to the weight I needed it to haul most of the time and I'll actually throw a picture up right here and you guys can see that concrete so I think I had 54 80 pound bags of concrete in the back of the truck I know it's a lot of weight it's like 5,000 pounds damn near but I was hoping for, you know, the truck to hold it up and it didn't hold it up like I was hoping it would. Coarse coil suspension compared to what this is set up with. I mean, it just, as soon as you put that weight in the back of that truck and that 1500, it just slammed. So I'm happy to be in a 2500 now. I'm happy to be in a diesel. Like I said, I've wanted one of these my entire life. And I probably, made my wife mad at me for looking all the time and showing her like hey look at this truck look at this truck and finally she just said we're just gonna go get it and I, I was happy and I'm still happy I love this truck but I want to get into um, a lot of um, not a lot of performance so I want to make this truck whenever I say a build I don't want it to be crazy hot rod uh, street truck nothing like that I want it to be daily reliable and uh, more efficient on fuel you could say i mean i don't want to like i don't want to make it so efficient on fuel that i'm losing power but i want power and fuel economy if that makes any sense so i kind of want the best of both worlds 
I uh, like this thing to look mean and aggressive, so uh, some of y'all seen my last truck, and I'll throw another photo up right here. Uh, you can actually see I did a little bit of work to that truck. I put some wheels, some tires, I leveled it, I put some new running boards on it. Um, I just, you know, kind of, I kept it clean, I guess you could say. And that's really what I'm going for with this truck as well. So, uh, you, you guys seen the bed, the tailgate, uh, that's not very pretty. I understand it's a truck, so I'm gonna use it as a truck, as I have, you know, my last truck as well. Um, yeah, I mean, this truck's exactly what I wanted. Uh, I did lose some of my features though. I lost my heated and cooled seats. Um, not a big deal. Uh, dual climate control, I didn't care about. Front parking sensors, I don't need them. Uh, that, that Ram 1500 was a sport model and it was a Cadillac. It was a Cadillac on wheels. If you could compare a Ram to a Cadillac, that would be the Cadillac version of a Ram. That thing was loaded. And it's just, it was too much for me. I stepped down from an SLT to, or I'm sorry, I stepped down from a Sport. So that's the reason that I stepped down from a Sport to an SLT. It was just too much. The interior was just, it was a lot of maintenance all the time for me to have to try to take care of the truck and make it clean and daily usable like I liked it. And this one is a little less um, maintenance, the seats, you know, they're not leather, so they're very easy to clean, take care of, in my opinion. Um, floor mats, you know, easy. Just, I mean, it, it, it had carpet in it as well, but yeah, I think that this truck's got a lot uh, to come for it. I'm really excited about it, like you, like I've been saying. I uh, hope that you guys are excited about this build as well. You guys, not a build, but you know, to keep it clean uh, kind of build. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that'll uh, pretty much wrap up this video, guys. So, if y'all are new, go ahead and click subscribe. Push that like button. That'll really help me out a lot. And uh, stay tuned, guys, because... I mean, this may not be a fast build, but it's gonna be what I want it to. So stay tuned guys, peace.